have a a really big deal with uh, Kim Kardashian. We haven't released a statement on it yet. Uh, we plan to in the next few weeks. Um, I've signed something really interesting with her for the next couple of years. Um, so that's going to be something that's really interesting. I'm opening up a really interesting business that I haven't talked about yet that I will talk about really soon. One of the things I can give as, as a piece of advice is to probably, you know, keep going and, and just, you know, never let your dreams die. It's always very hard when you're trying to do something positive. There's a lot of obstacles that's always in the way. I would have to say there's a lot of, I like to say little devils that pop up with little horns on their heads. And you have to kind of like keep going and, and don't let anything distract you from your goals. The person that's always been my father is my father. I'm not looking for anything like biologically connected. Um, I think when we did that on season, I think it was season two of Housewives, we found the person that was saying he was my father. We never had a DNA test, so I don't know that for sure. We just know that he says he was my biological father. But he and I have not gone any further than that. We've never taken a DNA test, and I do not have a relationship with him. When I first, when Cynthia and I first stopped talking, I did miss our friendship because we had been so close and we did talk so many times a day. So I did miss our friendship. But now for me, it's kind of old news. I'm over it. We would never be friends like that ever again. Um, I don't wish her any harm. I actually wish her the best. We just would never be friends.